Hey, this is Brody Jonas from Four Corners TV. Before we begin today's video, I want to show you a little bit of what I have in store on my channel. I'm currently at 319 subscribers, but you can change that. By hitting the subscribe button, you'll be able to get notifications of all that I do every day. That is, if I upload every day, which I don't. I only upload a few times a week. Nowadays, of course. This is my channel, Banner. I created it in a software called Blender. If you've never heard of Blender, it's a 3D software program. It lets you do 3D animations, 3D pictures, maybe even 3D games if you are able to program them. These are some of my friends over here along the side. Some cool guys. This is my friend Zach with both of these channels. My friend Alexander with both of these and AGP, which has 27,000 subscribers. This is my friend Dalen and Ethan, who does a lot of AMVs. My friend Jared, who does a lot of videos pertaining to mobile games on contests for in-game rewards. My cousin, and another one of my friends, Josh, which you might know from some of the Osrium Lane reviews recently. I have been uploading videos for the past few days and I have gotten a significant amount of views than I normally do and I'm very happy about that. These are my most popular uploads. They're, um, they mostly consider of Ozzy Lane as the front runners. These are the weirdest videos on the internet part one which I still need to make a part two. A video that is titled Pussy Fists and most of the most of this most of the reasons why this was viewed is because people are, are literally typing in the word pussy in YouTube. This is Bleach Brave Souls content, which used to be the most- This used to be the most popular video back in its heyday. So one of my most favorite videos of all time, this 4 Boxing Episode 2. There are only two episodes thus far, but I plan to do more when I get with Lucas again. Unfortunately, we aren't in close proximity range of each other. But soon, maybe this summer, we'll be able to do more stuff. My most recent uploads uh, consist of a couple Steam games and Ozulane reviews. I would like to do more content, but right now, Ozulane seems to be the front runner of my channel right now. Although I am starting a new series on a game that I found on Steam called Narkisu. It's a very sad game, and it's a much more different turn of my channel than most would usually see. Most of you see a funny side of me, but this is more of a storytelling kind. Now, I'm not- Now, maybe for the next episode of Narkisu, I'll probably change a little bit of my storytelling voice. But this was more- I was stunned, so I didn't know what to say and didn't know how to read it. So, I, I was just stunned at how deep and controlling the game was. And this one, this is just an angry side of me, so this is another funny, I guess. I mean, the thumbnail kind of suggests it could be a video that would be removed from YouTube once January comes around. These are my created playlists. This is my Bleach Brave Souls playlist. I haven't uploaded much about BBS except for two weeks ago. I did upload this, my last guild quest in Bleach Brave Souls. I don't know why I made this video. This is stupid shit. But this is a really good one. My about page, I have reached over the 5,000 view mark. And I'm very proud of myself for at least making it that far. This is my link to the Discord channel. Discord channel? D the Discord server. This is where my Twitch streams will happen in the future. And this is where my Twitter will be. So thank you very much for taking your time to watch this intro. Now back to the video. Come on. Oh, we got a full screen. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Mm -hmm. uh, individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit the official website with a warning thing on it. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agreed that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. I am 19 years old and am a full grown boy and have evolved outside of diapers, so I should be fine. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Yeah, that's what I heard. And it has been two years since I last played this game. And the only video I ever made on it, for some reason got a thousand views. 
on a totally different channel, and it sucked. I hated my editing back then. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Four Corners channel. This is Brody Jonas, and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club, a game Lucas hates for some reason. Even though I told him there are many great things about this game, besides it being a text thing you read. But he doesn't seem to understand. But whatever. Let him play Mortal Kombat. Anyways, we're gonna play new game. I'm gonna enter... Mm. I'm going to enter... Oh shit, I don't know what to name myself. Bum... Bubum bar no Harry who uh, there's no spaces in this game. Uh Kakarot Monica No, I'm not gonna do that. I think I, that actually does something to the game. If I name myself Monica, it does something stupid. Uh Zoinks. Shaggy. Let's go with Shaggy. My name is Shaggy. Haha. <laughs> Hey! Uh, I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she don't care. Okay. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were babies. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. I almost read that weirdly. Um, it, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. You start to hate her. You were used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. Now I get tired of waiting up. I don't know about this music. It's kind of dumb. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running anyway. However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Sayoru catch up to me. What if I narrate like someone... Oh fuck, I'm turning into Batman. I was gonna say National Geographic, but screw it. Batman's the narrator now. <laughs> oh, I don't I don't know what she would sound like. Um I overslept again. Uh, I'm, she's not oh fuck, she's not southern. <laughs> but I'm but I call you this time. Maybe. But only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <laughs> Bruce Wayne now. He <laughs> said like, like that you were thinking about ignoring me. It's me, sh <laughs> No, I should do Shaggy. What am I doing? Doing Batman shit. Well, well Zoinx, so if, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I, I don't want them to think we're a couple or something, Scoob. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> This is dumb. <laughs> well, you did wait for me after all. I guess you didn't have it in you to be mean, even if you wanted to. Uh, well, well, whatever you say. Sorry, I'm I'm gonna eat eat some Scoob snacks. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Shaggy, have you decided on a club to join you? A club? To beat you with? Senselessly? I told you already, I'm interested in beating the shit out of you. That's awful, I shouldn't do that. I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I would like to become one, so I could... <laughs> I would like to transcend into a club. I haven't been looking either. I'm a lazy fuck who doesn't care. Eh, that's not true. You told me you were doing a club this year. Did I? I have short-term memory loss. I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sorori likes to worry a little too much about me while I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. <laughs> Let's talk about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I died as a, at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. 
You trust me, right? So why am I making her southern? God damn it, what's wrong with me? I'm from Michigan, I don't have a southern accent. Don't make me keep worrying about you. Uh, alright, alright. Uh, I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. It's been a long time since I played this game. I, I forgot how it went. Uh, school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. Nobody was here. Everybody was absent in class, apparently, and Spongebob is being dried up in the chalkboard. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. There is none. Just announcements of different clubs that don't, don't really matter. Clubs. Hmm. All types. Ones with spikes and ones without. Ones with lumps and bumps. About. I'm becoming Dr. Seuss. Now I'm going to sing the blues. <laughs> Say, Hurry wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Say, Hurry. Say, Hurry must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. You're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. I don't think that's something to be impressed about, sleeping. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Oh, damn, I like that voice. That feels good. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you know. Come on. You know what? <laughs> well, I thought you could come to my club. S say hi. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? Yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. Yeah. Me, me. <laughs> oh, oh my. She's making a triangle. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she and her in she, uh, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah. Oh shit! Wrong one. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why are you guys so much anyway? Uh. 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 I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring it in your memory. And last game made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. <laughs> I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead. Or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> there it is. Alright. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Just for the cupcakes, make sure there's sparkles and stars on them. Yeah, let's go! I want chocolate. <laughs> and thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. That's fucking dumb. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone that you remember is here. I told you. Uh, shit. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, I glanced around the room. Oh, oh, um... Shit, what's her name? Uh, Yuri. Her name's Yuri. Um. I got a little club. Is it? Oh, fuck. I hate that one. That doesn't feel good on the throat. Uh. Uh. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. 
Joy always says nice things about you. Gilly, you water boy. <laughs> Where you got the atmosphere? She's just Gollum from Lord of the Rings now. Oh, oh, this one. Oh, Shaggy, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. <laughs> All words escape me in this situation. Every single one of them from the Webster Dictionary come flying out of my nostrils, ear holes, mouth, and every other hole in my body. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. I was going to say something, but I ran out of things to say. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Or give me a ring. So sorry, we... That's a key. <laughs> <laughs> a girl with a sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can, you can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says quietly into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy, and has a raspy ass voice from Lord of the Rings. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club, the only one that speaks normally in this entire fucking thing. Except Monica. You don't say things like that. Oh, she's playing with her hair. That's kind of cute. Uh, Yuri, who appears considerably more mature and timid. Um, larger boob size. Taller, obviously. Uh, it seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Who look like middle schoolers. Uh, well, it's nice. It, oh, shit. Yeah, well, it's nice to me both uh, it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. We had sex in the parking lot of Walmart. It's great to see you again, Shaggy. Let's do it again sometime. Uh, Monica smiles sweetly as her, f her skirt f starts to fly within the wind and goes 50 feet up in the air and never to be seen again. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. She ran the 100 meter in 5 seconds flat. Basically completely out of my league. <laughs> so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Here's you, Monica. Come sit down, Shaggy. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get you cupcakes. Hey! I made them. I'll get you. She's starting to turn into a demon Donald Duck instead. Sorry, I got a little too excited. But how about I make some tea as well? <laughs> when everybody has a trill through my voice, my... I do weird... I... That doesn't sound right. Okay, well... The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As you already mentioned, it's been widened, so there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray, a wrapped tray, and Yuri open, op, I've opens the closet. I can't speak English. I have the inability to. Uh, still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Um... Okay, are you ready? <sighs> I can't do this shit. <sighs> Natsuki lifts a foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. They are actual kittens. They're all the heads of all the animals she killed in the middle of her driveway. The whiskers are drawn with real whiskers made of icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. Uh, ex I mean, actual ears. <laughs> oh, shit. So cute. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Just hurry and take one. She has to be the, the Sudori. I believe when I played this a long time, I never finished this. I did one episode of this. 
The rest of the channel was just a bunch of bullshit I posted on it. Now, I did one episode of this, it was like a half hour. Uh, Sayori grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Her mouth is open, ready to swallow. She she, <laughs> she waiting for me to take a bite. <laughs> Go on, don't be afraid. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> I finally bite down. <laughs> she finally bites down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. My dick is made of complete cupcake. Um, I wonder if she made it herself. This is this is really good. Thank you, Nancy. What, what are you, you taking me? It's, it's not like I... I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Yeah, it's a tsundere. Like, um... Ev almost every anime has one. Make it for you or anything? Eh, I thought you technically did. Seriously. Well, maybe. But that's yeah, for you, you know, you, the me. Alright, alright. Uh, take a chill pill. Hey, have a, have a, have a, have a puff. I have, I have some kush in my bag. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cup tray. Um, you keep a whole tea set. You you shit. You keep a whole tea set in your classroom. <laughs> Don't worry, the teachers gave us some permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea? Help you enjoy a good book. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <laughs> oh shit, I mixed voices. <laughs> that that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, today reading really might not be a passion for me. But I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then she smiles at me. So what made you consider the Literature Club? Um, I found it on Steam. I was afraid of this question. Should I tell her I found it on Steam? <laughs> uh, something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and the sailors seem really happy, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Ah ha ha! Well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the buzz and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Uh, I've been doing the wrong voice. I just realized that. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. I got really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all their effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? <laughs> we'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. 
not uh, Gollum showing up the ring and and <laughs> fucking can't do this shit. Such different girls, all interested in the same girl, same 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 goal. They're all interested in girls. <laughs> They're all interested in the same girl, apparently. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why we were. They were also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with the, the level of enthusiasm about literature. So Jackie, what kinds of things do you like to read? I I like Playboy. <laughs> oh well. Uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. G4 Game Informer Oh I'm out quietly to myself half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well that can that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing your sad smile. Anyway, what well, about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels. Oh, I'm tired. Ah, I am yawning. I am tired. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh, I've read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I re- Whoops. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. <laughs> oh, why is that? Well, I guess. Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. <laughs> That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Right. What you got it here? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Take it out loud and give that back. Fine, fine. Hehe, <laughs> you cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands around on her shoulders. I'm not yoked. <laughs> You're starting not to be. You certainly are starting to not be cute. Natsuki, <laughs> you write your own poems? <laughs> I forgot her voice. <laughs> I get sometimes. I think that's impressive. Why don't you show them sometime? You know. <laughs> that came out very well. <laughs> Natsuki averts her eyes. You ready? Thank you. Uh, not very, not very confident, right? Yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that love of writing takes more than just confidence. <sighs> it's very really far but writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? 
Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Oh, <laughs> nope, she doesn't. I guess it's the same for Harry. <laughs> we all sit in silence for a moment. The club ends immediately. The club is disbanded forever. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Let's not do this. <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's go. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. As well as our grades dropping because this club takes up all of our time. Uh, that way everyone is even. Especially on grades. Ah, uh, and Hey, <laughs> let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Shaggy? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Who oh, knows? Nice. Still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back up to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. Oh yeah, I joined this club. So I may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and I'm, uh, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Uh, but... Hey, I, I, I saw it. Hey. <laughs> you all. I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. <sighs> okay, I decided then. Let's have a foursome. I'll join the literature club. Now, everyone, I need you all to rise. <laughs> I knew it would fucking happen. <laughs> one by one, the girl's eyes light up. <laughs> yes, I'm so happy. <coughs> oh, shit. I am ruining my throat knowing these voices. Zuri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. I am violently broken inside, and my spine crumbles into three pieces. Hey, you, you're killing me. You really did scare me for a moment. If you just came with a cupcake, I'd be super pissed. And it makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. <laughs> oh shit, man. Uh, everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Jiggy, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I really impressed the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills. I can only write when I'm high. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. I don't think I can take another puff or a blow. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up the f their food. Hey, Zaggy, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Uh, so, might as well. Hey! hey. <laughs> this is so dumb. Uh, with that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Siari, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh! Oh, it's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem most. Nice. Death? What the fuck? 
What a way to fucking... Hmm... Promise? Sayori... Oh! Do they jump on depending on what word you do? Embrace. Uh, determination sounds like a good one. Oh, Yuri! Uh, uncanny. Uh... Uh, unstable whirlwind Oof. together um bouncy <laughs> oh Natsuki likes that one oh I didn't like the chibi effect on that one graveyard uh mm, refulsion portrait El electricity oh huh, that's a weird one um clumsy uh Contamination. Philosophy is a nice one. Heaven sent. Raindrops. Raindrops. Skipping. Uh, destiny. Hmm. Unrequited. Oh! I thought your would be that one. I guess not. Hmm. That's a weird one. Oh, they hop around! I didn't even notice that. Oh, that is adorable. <laughs> They just hop around. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Melody? Ooh, Natsuki likes that one. Extraordinary. Incapable Crimson. Um, uh, Starscape. Nice. Hi again, Shaggy. Glad to see- Oh, I, did, I just realized this. She wasn't one of the chibis down there. Oof, that's big, that's a big bummer. I'm glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. Uh, don't worry, I was just in the back of the classroom smoking a blunt. This might be a little strange for you, but I at least keep my word. I will send the blunts tomorrow. You'll have them by noon. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Shaggy. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. I think you dropped any slack. Sorry told me you didn't even want to join any clubs yet. At last you too. I don't know if you plan to just come in here and hang out or what. But if you don't take it seriously, I don't see the end of it. That's a key. You certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps a manga collection in the club room. That's a key finds herself stuck between, say, Monica and Manga. Me, 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 me. The manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. The manga is literature. Anything a form in form of writing is literature. Don't worry, guys. Shaggy always gives his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, clearing my room. How dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Shaggy can become good friends, too. Um. Oh, she likes me. Is that because I chose those weird long words that she likes in the poem? Oh, I haven't even showed the poem yet. What the fuck? Say, are you? Oh, that's Natsuki. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just, she just put me into. Oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, wait, sorry. It, me? Oh, not really. Oh, he didn't bring me a blunt. <laughs> Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? <laughs> never, never mind. Sorry, man, it's like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what, what do I do? <laughs> eh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. Um, I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. Hey, take a puff. <laughs> first of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. I never get anything for Christmas anyways. 
So any any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I will make a big deal if you don't want it to be. Half and mighty puff. Alright. <laughs> well, yeah. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, fuck. <laughs> discuss- Oh, discuss it if you want it. Th this is- How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Yeah. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Oh, we're going... Oh. That, never mind, I thought we were going to the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more, but at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah. Oh, the music changed! Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes meet for a split second. Bull. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just facing out. I'm out of this sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. If I was focusing, I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Oh, she's sweat sweating. Just curious. How come you have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, I saw what I meant. <laughs> I mean, I, I just happened to buy two of them. Uh, I, I see. <laughs> Someone's smoking some good shit. Hey, there's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear it. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What well, about it anyway? What's it about anyway? Well, hmm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There is an ominous looking eye symbol on the, p front, or on the front cover. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. Oh shit. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's that's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty dark, man. Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Shaggy? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kinds of stories, so don't worry. I just take, take at least five gigantic weedsters up the nostrils, and I'll be fine. I don't notice a thing. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just those kinds of stories. They challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals. Well, they are their own philosophy that they believe in. Now, sorry, when you thought you were related to a pro-cacinist. 
the, the male to be naive one for the one side more I'm just becoming stupider this this goes on I, I'm rambling aren't I not again I'm sorry hey don't apologize I haven't lost interest or anything <sighs> can't do these voices for any longer <laughs> Well, I guess it's alright then, but I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange, and please stop me if I'm starting, if I start talking too much. That's, I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Eh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Looking, looking forward to it. I... I... Sh shit. I forgot the name... Name... The voices. Ugh. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put in my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? Ouch. I slip into the next seat next to yours. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> you seem a little apprehensive. That's... Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That's, that is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just let just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, all right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. So sorry, I was just... <laughs> Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk uh, until it's up against Yuri's. That hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit... Our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. Oh. <laughs> For pleasure. <laughs> I do the same with my right arm, on the right side of the book. That way, I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after I... It flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Is that not a good thing? <laughs> Are you ready? Eh? Huh? To turn the page? Ah, oh, sorry. I think I got a little bit distracted for a second. I glanced over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. <sighs> That's okay. You know it is used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me, y yeah. <sighs> Thanks. <sighs> we continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all the things that she says and does. 
Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. But they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I, I see. You remain silent for a moment. But Shaggy, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. What? Well, wait. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I more meant that it's kind of cute. Uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? Uh, <laughs> okay, everyone. Time to break up the sex parties and go home. <laughs> I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. <laughs> Yuri exhales, uh, spared from finishing her thought. Is, is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you have been lo haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from her book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Ouch! I now have a bruise on my thumb. Alright, that hurt. <laughs> I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? I don't know if I can do these voices any longer. Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. <laughs> oh, oops, that's Shaggy. Hmm. <laughs> In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know. That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? It, yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've really never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share it with? I can't wait! Sarah and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sarah is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf paper from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Shit. I've been doing this for an hour. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna save. I'm going to do this. All right. And I'm not gonna quit yet. I'm going to go until, you know, I'm, wow, there's nine pages I can do? Fuck. Return. I'm gonna show mine to Yuri. So she seems to really like me. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion, to be fair. That's true. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Huh? What was that? Did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I <laughs> Ooh. She, she is going to hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's... I guess you're right. What am I going getting so nervous for? Uh -huh. Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical in new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end res result is that both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. 
Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but, in all, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying, trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Now, that's key can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Oh. Um. Well. Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about other people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if it's a rare opportunity for her, which is, which itself is kind of funny. After all, this isn't supposed to be a literature. Isn't this supposed to be a literature club? All right, ghost. Ah, oh, the music changed. Okay, ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green of the future. I bathe. Calm. Breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I, the light flickers. I flicker back. Ooh. Wow. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking of that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. <laughs> That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Shaggy. <laughs> really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It, it, it's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... Nah... If anything, I could probably learn a bit or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I really enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Shaggy. Uh, me too. Alright. Okay, so who should I show my poem to next? Uh, Sayori. Let's go with Sayori. Alright, time to do this high-pitched voice. This is a good poem, Shaggy. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not th that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in the spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that just that you wrote one. This just reminds me of how you really are part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. <laughs> uh, well, of course, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Shaggy. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayoria. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That would be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. 
Well, we'll see about that. Oh, the music. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my fore- Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Make me rub the sleepy from my eyes. <laughs> Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish, an, uh, wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> I, f I totally forgot this first poem from Sayari was uh, really ridiculous at the end. Other than that, it's, that's, God, that's a pretty happy poem. I like it. Say, Ori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. <laughs> well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Well, how, how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah, especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this is so much fun. Monica's the best. Oh, yeah. But next time... Oh, but next time I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Monica, for sure. Hi, Shaggy. Uh, let me go down. Having a good time so far? Oh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be f afraid to bring things up. Much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> my f my screen is floating into the air again. Don't worry, Shaggy. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? What is that sort of a barrier that we'll all, get, all learn to get past soon? Yeah, that's true. I had Monica read my poem. Or, I had Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, Shaggy. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> it's not very fair, but I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply ana analyze it, all the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kind of styles, but I'll always find help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah. Uh -huh. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Ah, oh, it's more piano -y. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No! I can't see. 
A reel, blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It wasn't too deep. Searching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. So what did you think? Hmm. It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah uh ha, -huh. it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, huh. well I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. And obviously, pink. Uh, I don't know if I want to do this voice. Eh. Well, that's about what I expected from someone like you. This is a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. This didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. You want to get smacked? <laughs> I'll pass. Eh. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can see. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. You know, that's... This music! <laughs> uh, uh, that's, that's pretty accurate. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the poem po point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But on the other thing, another nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I said, uh, uh I, can't, I can't do these voices anymore. I'm, I'm going to get strep. Like I said, for a rhyme at the end, but I made it full flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess m more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. <sighs> I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. I have a migraine, and I'm going to bang my head on the on the wooden tables one by one. And it says if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I mean, all I did was pick a bunch of words and place them on a piece of paper and say, whoop de doo da day I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. 
Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. Sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Oh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the bomb to the desk in one, with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feelings of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? <laughs> you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Uh, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would ask someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. So I liked it. And Shaggy did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <laughs> and Shaggy liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. <coughs> I didn't realize you were so impressed in trying to impress on your memory. Eh? Yeah. Oh no, the music. Are we are we seriously having a girlfriend here? This is not what I wanna be doing right now. Oh fuck. That's not what I uh you you're just Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Shaggy appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Hey! No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. <laughs> That's so dumb. Uh, um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I was the one whose boobs magically grew. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> magically grew a size bigger as soon as Shaggy started showing up. Now, Natsuki? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. <laughs> that's the both of them mixed together. I, I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me, as if they just noticed I was standing there. Shaggy, she she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get her over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing... Oh, jeez. That's not me. That simple writing is more effective than this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Shaggy. But wait. There's a reason why we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most e effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Shaggy? Um... Well... How do I- how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So of course it's going to be... <sighs> well, I'm not an excellent expert at writing either, but... I tend to go with a style more similar to Yuri's, as opposed to writing like a fucking kindergartner. Although it's a good message to convey that Natsuki made, whoops, that's the problem, um, that Natsuki made, uh, but, like, seriously, I don't know, <laughs> what the fuck, Natsuki's style is weird, I mean, it's pretty blunt, I like to figure out things on my own, have a different view, everyone has a different view in the types of poems Yuri makes, so I'm gonna go with Yuri, Natsuki, you're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. 
That's not what happened at all. You wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Hmm. I understand. Yuri? Eh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. What about this? But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when he said her poem was cute. I can see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. Mm. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have felt happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. You would hurry that. Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologize. Don't you think you should too? <laughs> Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped at this point being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up feeling bad for her. Uh, um, sometimes when I feel, when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sorry, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. You'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Natsuki! She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands like she's... While she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. <sighs> Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How can anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, alright, I believe you. Thanks, Shaggy. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you as a part of, cl of this club now. Er, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, I'll never do anything so shameful. So, eh? What, th what thing did Natsuki say? Uh, um, well, never mind that. I I'm going to make some tea. Ah, oh, good idea. Like enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. <sighs> okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. It's about time for me to end this fucking recording. It's six gigabytes worth of a file. Oh, dang. And I got some other games to record. How'd you feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Let's say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Share you. How about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk with every talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learned something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Shaggy! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Hehehe. <laughs> beams at me. Her laser eyes continue to destroy the entire classroom as she beams at me. It truly really has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Oh, shoot. Sayori? About what happened earlier? <laughs> what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. This is really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they've made, they'd make good friends with you. Yeah. You know, Shaggy, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Everything is going to be so much fun. Ugh. It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. 
I say that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's fuck. Ah, oh, This poem... Waterfall. Natsuki really likes that for some reason. How about eternity? Yuri likes that word. How about treasure? Sayori likes that word. Yeah. Landscape. Yuri likes that word. How about Papa? Natsuki likes it. How about skipping? Alright, Natsuki. How about fester? Oh, jeez. Frightening. Imagination. Uh, Valentine. Uh, memories. Uh, <laughs> vibrant. Uh, would you believe her eyes if she said fireflies? A uh, massacre. <laughs> a p portrait. About agonizing and extraordinary and, uh, depression. <laughs> what? I thought that would be Yuri. Wow. Uh, electricity again, because Yuri likes that one. Alright, that's enough. I gotta stop. I have a large file. I'm going to save that there, and I am going to stop here. Oh, shoot. This is an adventure, and I've wanted to play this for a long, long time. It's been two years since it first came out that I played this game. It's completely free, and if you haven't played, played it before, you are honestly missing out, because it's an interesting thing. It's not that bad. A lot of... I don't know. There's a lot of people... I don't know. Something happens in it, I guess. Some really dark shit. It had a lot of... It had, like, age warnings at the beginning, so I'm sure this has to have some type of a dark turn. I can't really remember what it is. I... I don't even think I've gotten that far. I think this is the farthest I've ever gotten. Was, uh, day three. So, uh, thank you all for watching. This is the Four Corners Channel, and this is your host, Brody Jonas, and I am out.